there's a land rush happening, and it's not in New York City or Beverly Hills. Early speculators, professional realtors, and celebrities are buying up virtual land for millions of dollars, creating huge hype around real estate in the metaverse. In November 2021, crypto investor Tokens.com made headlines when it bought $2.4 million of virtual real estate in Decentraland. A week later, Republic Realm paid $4.3 million to buy land in the digital world of Sandbox. Real estate moguls Tal and Oren Alexander said they'll be developing and selling virtual luxury real estate. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Paris Hilton are also diving into the digital land grab. In fact, real estate sales in the metaverse surpassed $500 million in 2021 and could double in 2022, according to data from Metametric Solutions. The metaverse is a multi-trillion dollar opportunity that's going to change the way most consumer technology is used. People don't quite see this yet, but it's the next iteration of social media. It's the next iteration of computing, education, advertising, and shopping. Skeptics warn that putting your money in these highly speculative investments is a risk people shouldn't take lightly. And so you might buy land in a metaverse that A, nobody else buys land in or doesn't want to, or even in a worst case scenario, you might buy land in a metaverse that doesn't exist in the future. If it continues the way it's going, it is most likely going to be a bubble. You're buying something that isn't tied to reality. It doesn't make a lot of sense, except it may satisfy somebody's desire to participate in some gaming activity. So is the metaverse real estate boom the next big thing? Or is it just the latest bubble ready to pop? We call this the metaverse. And you're gonna be able to do almost anything you can imagine. Get together with friends and family, work, learn, play, shop, create, as well as entirely new categories that don't really fit how we think about computers or phones today. The metaverse is defined as a virtual reality space where people can play games, connect with friends, attend meetings, and even go to virtual concerts. A parallel world in your computer or phone. Ever since Facebook's announcement that it would change its name to Meta and focus on building its own digital world, interest in metaverse real estate skyrocketed. So how much does this all cost for virtual land buyers? The average real estate parcel in the sandbox was worth $2,620 in mid-October. After Facebook's announcement, that price skyrocketed to $11,042 a month later. Early speculators are handing out millions in cash to buy virtual lands in various metaverse platforms. To buy virtual land, you need a digital wallet to buy and store cryptocurrency. Once you convert fiat money to cryptocurrency, you can buy virtual land on various metaverse platforms. In November 2021, Tokens.com bought $2.4 million of virtual land in what's known as the fashion district of Decentraland. It hopes to develop properties on the land, which it will then rent out to fashion companies as event and retail space. What we're doing is pre-buying advertising space. We're pre-buying the areas that people are going to be wandering around in and socializing, going to concerts, going to museums, and various other things that they're going to do in the metaverse. Kegel says Tokens.com will host the first ever virtual fashion week in March 2022 in its fashion district in Decentraland. After we made the purchase and we made the announcement, we've had a lot of various brands, all highly recognizable, some less recognizable, that have reached out. I would prefer to have the virtual ink signed before we disclose who the brands are. Various restaurants, clubs that want to be featured there. Republic Realm, another active investor in the metaverse real estate space, recently spent $4.3 million on virtual land in the sandbox metaverse. The company currently owns digital lands across 24 different metaverse platforms. The sandbox and Decentraland are two of the biggest metaverse platforms so far. In 2021, the Sandbox had 65,000 transactions in its virtual land, totaling $350 million, three times bigger when compared to Decentraland. There are a host of other metaverse platforms, such as Sominium Space, CryptoVoxels, and Superworld. 
very much like there is no the social media or the video game, there are going to be various metaverses that arise. What's going to happen, in my opinion, is that they're all going to fill a niche. For example, the sandbox will be focused more on gaming, while the centerland will be more focused on live events. So who is investing in metaverse real estate and why? I think there's the speculators slash investors who want to be really early in something that they think is going to be big. There is corporates that are wanting to just put a stake in the ground to say, well, we're doing something. And then you have the real property developers saying, well, it could be disruptive through. The key is all of these players want to get involved in what they view as the next big thing to potentially make big money and cash out. Professional real estate agents Tal and Oren Alexander also made headlines when they announced they'll be developing and selling luxury real estate in the metaverse. And already, high-end luxury fashion brands like Gucci and Balenciaga are selling digital-only clothing and accessories only available in the digital world. The hype around the metaverse real estate isn't just in the US. Samsung recently announced it launched a metaverse store in Decentraland in hopes to feature live music events. The Sandbox also announced multiple Hong Kong partnerships to create what's known as a megacity in the metaverse, which it predicts will become the next big cultural hub. But as of now, transactions in the metaverse segment is still minuscule compared to the amount of real estate sold in the real world. According to nonfungible.com, a platform specialized in tracking NFT markets since 2018, there have been about 133,000 transactions in the metaverse segment in 2021. In comparison, there were nearly 6.18 million in existing home sales in December 2021, according to the National Association of Realtors. 130,000 transactions in properties in, in metaverses is pretty minuscule versus where the mm -hmm. real real market is. But you would expect that because we're talking about literally, you know, something right at the, the, the beginning of what this potentially could be. Despite the hype around metaverse real estate, all of this comes with massive risks. There are many risks to transacting in the metaverse. First of all, you need to be safe and comfortable using your crypto wallet. There are lots of scammers out there. There are a lot of people who are gonna try and steal your secret phrase and take tokens out of your wallet. So you need to make sure that you've undergone some basic training and that is available online. There are a lot of YouTube channels and such that can teach you how to be safe. There's also the risk that the virtual land you buy may not become a popular destination in the future. You might buy land in a metaverse that A, nobody else buys land in or doesn't want to, or even in a worst case scenario, you might buy land in a metaverse that doesn't exist in the future. I think the second risk is this, as you touched, this is just still very niche and how are you going to get a return on that investment? The questions around and getting any kind of financial return on your investment is still very, uh, very much unknown. And then the final one, which is, you know, that it's not actually real. The price of your metaverse real estate property also relies heavily on the price of cryptocurrencies. If the price of whatever coin you use to buy real estate falls dramatically, so will the value of the property, making it a highly risky investment. Both a short-term bubble coupled with a long-term real trend. That's why I think it'd be risky to uninitiated go out and just start buying a bunch of property right now, starting at zero. But is it like necessarily a bad idea to like get some exposure to a token here or there? And like, maybe not. You see Apple dedicating time here, Microsoft, Samsung, NVIDIA, it's really hard to ignore or to label this as a fad when you see a tidal wave of activity flowing towards the metaverse. And we didn't even talk about gaming. The metaverse means to me, digitization of human activity to the extent that unlocks a tremendous amount of productivity. Regardless of where metaverses go, I'm totally convinced after writing this research that everyone thinks we've seen lots of disruption. I don't think we've seen anything yet. 